stand here accused of insensitivity. Oh, sure, I've tried to change my ways. I, I've cried, I've hugged, I've been hugged. And you know what I've discovered? I'm an offensive person. <laughs> but in a tolerant society, is there no place for my kind? Why must everyone like me? Why can't we all just not get along? <laughs> Bazooka Joe. <laughs> You're an imbecile. Good morning. Dr. Robot. What are you doing? Well, I'm just taking the little extra money you always leave for me. Oh, my God. No wonder we're treated like crap everywhere we go. How can you be so cheap? Uh, I'm not cheap. Then put the tip back on the table. The what? The tip. It was $10. Oh, put it back. Of course. Uh, the tip. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Mary! That waitress just stole our tip! <laughs> When beetles fight these battles in a bottle with their paddles and the bottles in a poodle and the poodles eating noodles, they call this a muddle puddle tweedle poodle beetle noodle bottle paddle battle. This man is a genius. What's this? Come on, enough with the practical jokes. What, Nina, there's nothing practical about this joke. It's an utterly pointless, hurtful, and asinine waste of time. Are you sure you don't want this furniture? Absolutely not. As a student of the ancient Chinese art of feng shui, I can assure you that the spiritual harmony of this room was upset by having that bitch sitting there. I now accept the fact that I do not have artistic talent, like you, like Harry. I know now that I will never be able to be a part of a class like this, but Dr. Allwright has made me see the joy that I can take in inspiring other people. No, I will never be an artist, but I can make a great subject. Prepare to meet your muse! <laughs> there you see, I can be an adult too. I'm sure you can. That's why I'm going to continue to allow you to use my office. Your office? It's our office. Check the door, Dick! It's my office! Always was, always will be! But I say that just to let you know. I don't stress it, I just gloss over it. See? Adult. <laughs> on this door and I want it twice the size of hers, three times the size. I'm going to be the biggest adult in this whole stupid office. <laughs> Nina, are you married? No. Well, why not? What are you doing wrong? You sound just like my mother. That must be very confusing for you. <laughs> do you actually believe that you can trust people? Yes, I do. Really? Do you trust me? Of course I do. And why not? You work with me, you see me every day, you know that I care about you. If you can't trust me, you can't trust anyone. Do you trust me? Huh? 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 Dr. Sa... Nina, what is that thing on your head? It's called a deku. Oh, I think it's beautiful. Thank you. It's authentic. It makes me feel connected to my ancestors. Oh, so that's the traditional headdress of ancient secretaries. Started it. 
You think you're pretty clever, don't you? I happen to know that every word in your book was published years ago. Perhaps you've read the dictionary. <laughs> Okay, Mr. Solomon, it's time to finger your purse. Oh, believe me, I've tried, but she just won't let me. Do you have any idea how badly you embarrassed me last night? Do you have any idea how hard it is to find a concertina in Ohio? What the hell was going on in your head? Oh, I know what this is. Apparently, you don't like Italians as much as you claim. Oh, wait a minute. Since when don't you like Italians? Please, Nina, we're discussing prejudice here, something you know nothing about. I'm black. Oh, right, right. Nina is black. <laughs> something on your tie. <laughs> uh -huh. Very clever. Yes, I see how that works. You have something on your shoulder. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Welcome. My name is Judith. Thank you, Judith. We have beverages, as well as hummus and pita, if you'd like. Why not? I'm wearing control tops. <laughs> oh, pardon me. No, it's entirely my... F oh, my... Hey, it's me, Dr. Solomon. Oh. <laughs> I'm wearing women's clothes. Ah, that's it. <laughs> Wait right here. Dr. Albright. Dr. Albright. Uh, Nina can't this way. Uh, I don't think so. Dr. Blumfeld is in the middle of a very interesting story. <laughs> yeah, well, mine's better. You're hurting my arm. Okay. Where were we? Mary, let's not monopolize Dr. Blumfeld. Have a seat. <laughs> All right, ladies, we're ready to begin. Everybody settle. I'll, I'll just squeeze in a little bit. 